It's being hailed as a once-in-a-lifetime find, but it's now a race against time to preserve an incredible set of more prints found in rural Otago. As our Otago Southland reporter Timothy Brown found out, the window to preserve the prints is closing and it may never open again. Just a hot day in the Mani Otago, so we knocked off pretty early. Yeah, decided we'll take the dogs for a wee walk down this river and, uh, yeah, just the conclusion of me walking into the water on that angle and looking down at the right time, we've managed to find some footprints. So that's pretty cool. That's Ranfurly local Michael Johnston giving an understated and laconic assessment of one of the most important archaeological finds in New Zealand in recent history. The tractor driver was about to go for a dip in one of his favourite swimming spots in early March when he discovered the set of seven more prints, all belonging to one specimen and believed to be the first discovered in the South Island. When you spotted them, did you did you have an idea of the significance of them? Um, not really. Not not until people started saying that they were the first ones in the South Island to be found, and the fact that they're so intact and neat is just unbelievable. So everyone at the museum is happy about it, and I'm just oh yeah, it's just another day. <laughs> the footprints, 30 centimetres long by 30 centimetres wide, are believed to have been exposed following flooding in November last year. But the incredible set of circumstances which led to the window opening for their discovery could close just as quickly. Otago Museum's Assistant Curator of Natural Sciences, Kane Fleury, says it might never open again. So if there's a heavy flood through here and it brings a, a lot of gravel down with it, as the floods in the Kyburn typically do, it typically raises really quick and it's prone to flash flooding, but essentially just be scoured out of the corner and that would be the end of them. So they were exposed in a similar event and they could be wiped out in, in just a similar fashion. A team of more than 20 have been working since Wednesday to uncover and extract the Moors prints. It's a task of biblical proportions, diverting a body of water, draining the swimming hole and carefully cutting out the prints for preservation. It's also a race against time, as after today the resource consent allowing digging will lapse and the river will have to be returned to its natural state. As far as discoveries go, Mr Flory says this is once in a lifetime stuff. It's pretty old in the scheme of things due to the formation that they're in, so we're thinking that these are probably uh, you know, like a million or so, maybe a couple of million years old. So the footprints have been here for quite a while, so it's pretty amazing that they've uh, been exposed, been found by someone who notified someone who wanted to do something about it. Mr Fleury says the prints are among the most significant finds in the story of moor in New Zealand and amongst the oldest moor print specimens ever. It's why Otago Museum's director, Ian Griffin, is so excited. It's of huge international significance. Um, there are only about 20-odd Moa footprints known to exist anywhere in New Zealand, and to the best of our knowledge, they've never been found in the South Island before. So to find seven, you know, it's just like um, the holy grail of Moa footprints, really. Once extracted, the prints will be treated and monitored as they dry, and eventually they'll go on display at Otago Museum. From the banks of the Kyburn River, for Checkpoint, Timothy Brown.